My father's eyesight isn't good anymore, but still he asked for a copy of my doctoral thesis. Here I am explaining to my father what the thesis is about. On the last page of the thesis, there is a summary meant to be as simple as possible should anyone be interested in knowing more about my dissertation. I hate titles. Never pictured myself studying to doctorate level due to my poor financial background and I almost never read books cover to cover. How comes then I undertook a doctoral study? I first learned about the FLIRUS scholarship while browsing the internet for a master's scholarship in early 2010. I completed the online application, but I never sent the hard copies as required. Later the same year, the call for the next intake opened up. Um, I wrote an email to the university and I asked them if I could continue with my application from where I left off. They updated my file so that I didn't have to start from zero, but just continue from where I had left it left the application. So I updated the, the online application and then I just sent the hard copies uh, to Belgium via DHL. And one evening in June 2011, just before I left work, I was working in Kilifi then, I couldn't believe my eyes. Um, by chance I opened my Gmail and I saw a congratulatory message sent to me and 17 others including 4 Kenyans and the email indicated that I had been awarded the scholarship and that the program was set to begin in September of 2011. Uh, two years later the graduation is approaching and I had to look for a job so I started browsing the internet again. The scholarship contract stipulated that uh, I had to leave Belgium immediately after graduation and the plan when I left Kenya was to go back after the masters and as such I was not keen on uh, looking for opportunities uh, in Belgium or uh, elsewhere abroad. However, when I was uh, browsing uh, for a job I came across a call for a doctoral project that felt like it was designed specifically for me. The study would be on developing statistical methods to assess the diagnostic accuracy of cervical cancer screening test. And why did I feel the call was mine? Number one, because during um, the course, my master's course, there was um, a unit, epidemiology, where you had to choose a topic and I chose to uh, research and write about cancer in Kenya. And in my research, I came to learn that cervical and breast cancer were the top cancers claiming the lives of women in Kenya and worldwide. And I also came to learn that more than 70% of deaths could be prevented if the cancer was detected early enough. As a woman, I felt threatened and this project was actually giving me a chance to change my life and to change the lives of other women, though my work, the impact would be indirect. The second reason why I felt that this project was calling for me is because in another unit, I was briefly introduced to methods used to summarize data from different sources and this is also called meta-analysis and I found the topic very fascinating and this uh, PhD project would give me a chance to learn more about uh, meta-analysis. The third reason was because I have always wanted to be part of policy makers but you know me, I'm not loud enough to be an activist and I don't like politics. But this project uh, would develop um, tools that would help policy makers assess evidence on which to base policies in the healthcare center, in the healthcare sector, sorry. Um, so the project was giving me a chance to contribute 
to the process of policy making though I will be behind the scenes. Eh? And these projects uh, and these policies are not just affecting uh, Belgium, they will affect the whole world including Kenya. Uh, doctoral studies are very long projects and lack of motivation is a big struggle for many candidates. But for me, it was not really a problem because I really felt the project was a calling for me. I even got pregnant in my third year, we applied for that. And I let, delivered the baby, I took a three months maternity leave and I still rem managed to remain on track to graduate as planned in 2017. If you're considering doing a PhD, my advice to you is only go for it if you are passionate about the topic. There will be obstacles along the way, but your passion should keep you motivated. The VLIRUS scholarship covers several programs, not just biostatistics. And if anyone is interested, they should check their website. I will be giving a link um, below. And if you're curious about my dissertation, just like my, my dad, I will also be giving a link where you can uh, download a um, copy and then just look through it. Thank you for listening. And uh, in the next uh, video, I will answer one of the most common questions in my inbox. How did I apply for my master's scholarship? I hope you liked uh, my presentation and um, I hope you're going to subscribe and wait for the next video and if you have any questions or comments or if you have any topic that you would like me to discuss then please leave a comment below and then I will uh, look at those comments thank you